and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is the daily reading for the 16th of August, which happens to be my birthday. So I'm very excited <laughs> and I'm taking the, week, the day off. So I'm going to pre-record the weekend reading and yes, uh, thank you in advance <laughs> for all your beautiful comments. I'm definitely taking the day off because I had a friend ages ago when I was working like this is years and years ago and she said she always takes her birthday off and never works on her birthday and at the time I was kind of like shocked going oh what you do that and then I was like that is honestly the best idea <laughs> and ever since I've done it so we have the knight of swords and with the astrology that's happening this week I've you know it just yeah, it's been a lot of things. It's a juggling act. A lot of things are out of balance. So Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, things are happening so quickly. Oh, how are we going to deal with that? The nine, the Queen of Pentacles, luckily she is around. The Sun card, there's lots in this one. The Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles and the Devil card. Okay, got quite the story here. It's like the cards just kind of wanted to go and then this happened and then that happened and then, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Now, we have the devil, but we also have the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is the antidote to the devil. So that's good. So working hard, I can see with the eight of pentacles, just when I thought I was going to have the day off, I could guarantee with this that I'm going to be doing some kind of work or working hard. <laughs> Whether it's like to do with work, I'm, who knows. But it feels like the day for potentially for breakthroughs that could happen quite quickly uh, but it's this need to, there's news, there's communication that could be flying in, breakthroughs. It could be around work or how something is working. Uh, but there could equally be, as something moves quickly, there can equally be a delay or a demand placed upon it as well. So it's this real balancing act between this pressure and this workload that's coming in here. And it feels like the opposite of having a day off, I have to say. <laughs> so with the two of pentacles, it is your energy is feeling stretched. There's a lot of emotional roller coasters coming in here. And it's like you might have to pivot and turn and make some choices and decisions or act quickly or think on your toes here. Think quickly. We've seen that kind of energy all week, interestingly. But the Queen of Pentacles is right next to that Nine of Swords. That could be a little bit of stress and worry that comes in or just there's so much on your plate, like so much to think about here. This Queen of Pentacles comes in and calms everything down and says, ground yourself down, take a deep breath, trust your intuition here. She's the Capricorn Queen. She knows what to do. So what's the best thing to do? It feels like it's something on the material realm that's coming in here. So it feels like there's some kind of interesting or even dramatic work situation or situation about a home or living or something around a health. There's something that needs to be addressed and even urgently or it just needs to be worked through. Like there's opportunities for not only crisis points, breakthroughs, but also blockages. And it's like all of the above all in one reading. So it's like, yeah. Okay, no wonder you've got your hands full with that two of pentacles going, what are the next steps? How do I move forward? Luckily, we have the eight of pentacles, which is about working. There's some kind of message around how about work or how something could work or the work that is needed to put in. And the devil energy does demand. It's demanding. It's hard work. It's very Capricorn type energy. It's saying that, yeah, you need to put in some work to make this work. So it's there's a solution here. There absolutely is a solution here and it may feel equally the devil could be something is made harder than it needs to be and there could be a block or a delay around it as well. So it's uh, interesting, interesting energy. We do see a lot of Saturn here with all this Capricorn energy, which we are seeing that uh, – <laughs> Saturn is starting to move into a square with Jupiter. So it's like this sense of needing to break free, break free, sorry, uh, to push something forward, like the sun wants to break through and create opportunity. And then the Saturnian squares, Saturn's moving into a square with some of these energies, is slowing everything down, creating delays, saying something needs to be reworked, something needs more time. And so Saturn is kind of winning out in this reading here <laughs> and it is all about timing and the time time of thing yeah timing and whether it's time 
So interesting messages, interesting news, things happening very quickly and uh, pivots and turns with work situations and solutions. You're going to be glad it's the end of the day. You're going to be glad it's a Friday and it's the weekend. Hopefully you're not working on the weekend, but, you know, a lot of us do work on the weekend. But you're going to be like, ah, oh, breathe a sigh of relief at the end of this day. Absolutely. So, I mean, the good news is, like I said, with any problem, there is a solution. And like I said, the devil, the queen, the antidote to the devil is the queen of pentacles. So we're seeing both the problem and the solution, breakthroughs, crisis, all in one thing. And yeah, a lot going through your mind. So there's just a lot that you're working through here. And I feel like there's a lot of problem solving and a lot of flexibility is needed within the situation. Somebody could be a bit stubborn, but that's not helping the situation here. So it's like having to deal with that difficult person and going, eh, trying to get around that. Uh, somebody might be feeling the need to kind of hold their ground within a situation. But in general, I think things get complicated. This is where uh, there's many people trying to work. The solution is here, but it's complicated, requires communication, fast pivots, and requires some problem-solving skills here. So workload could be unpredictable. It could get heavier even, uh, or more demanding in some way. So fun. Sounds like a fun day. <laughs> but like I said, the solutions to problems are, are there right in the middle of it. So it feels like you're just in this pressure cooker situation and but this the solutions are there. So it, I like that the sun is still there right in the center as well because the sun promises clarity and opportunities for breakthroughs and happiness. So it's it might just be worth it putting a little bit of extra effort and work into a situation to get it to the next stage or to get it to rebalance in some way. So that's the reading for the 16th. Thank you so much for joining me and please follow me on Instagram. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and take care.